everybody, Joel Moose Droppings by Import Sauce. Today we are going to show you what you need to do if you have a leaky clutch line on your P1 uh, M66 transmission or any other platform that uses the M66. Uh, we got a little bit of a leak when we put the engine back in on the engine rebuild series and it is just the seal where the hard line connects into the M66 onto the uh, slave or the uh, breather valve there. So we are gonna show you uh, the part that we've got, uh, how to swap that out, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and bleed everything out. So stick around and see what we do. Okay, so when we were putting the engine back in, uh, we may have uh, kind of tweaked or uh, put some undue pressure on the uh, rubber seal that seals the hard line into the breather on the M66. We'll uh, give you a close-up of what that looks like, but if you are uh, seeing some fluid, uh, or uh, maybe you just haven't changed this uh, in a while, uh, this is a $10 uh, little rubber seal rubber thing there. Uh, it slips on and off. The only thing you're going to need is an 11 millimeter uh, to bleed the clutch line after you're done. Uh, so actually all of these tools here are here for the bleed, the motor power bleeder, uh, new fluid, and a catch reservoir for that. So uh, we're going to get in there and show you a close look of uh, how to swap this out, what it looks like. Okay, so uh, we'll put up a picture close up of the uh, part here, uh, part number 314-92855, Volvo calls it the quick coupling. And what it is is just a uh, plastic-ish uh, rubber uh, nipple, two pieces, and these slide onto your hard line that comes from the uh, master cylinder and then shoots down. And uh, this uh, goes on the end, and then this is what is going to pop into the um, breather valve, as they call it, or slave cylinder tube with a little um, compression uh, metal clip on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our air intake off. Uh, it is directly underneath it. <clears throat> Uh, if you still have the factory intake off, it's going to take you a lot longer. Here's another benefit of uh, Elevate's air intake system. It's just going to be uh, simply one uh, hose clamp, and then we'll pull this out and have full access. So we'll get in there and uh, show you a close-up. Okay, so our air intake is off. Let's go ahead and zoom in. I'll show you exactly where we're at. There is the breather valve and then right on top of it you can see there is that coupling that we are going to swap out so the breather valve is that square part and uh, you see the hard line comes down and uh, we can see that we got some fluid and some some juice there um, so uh, as mentioned it's rubbery plastic so over time it can break down so what we're going to do is we're going to you can see that metal pin there. We're just gonna slide that out, which will allow the whole tube to come up. And we will uh, show you a close up on that. Okay, you can see we uh, pulled that clip out and our line is out. Let me see if I can get you a close up. And it's a little dark, but you get the idea. Put a rag down there to catch this fluid. Uh, see if I can zoom in. But uh, essentially we're just gonna pop that thing off and then uh, slide the new one on. We'll pop it off and inspect it, show you what it looks like. Okay, so the old one actually had to come off in pieces uh, because once you slide it in, it has all these ribs in there that um, can't really see them that well, but they notch in and really lock in. So we're gonna slide this guy on and then uh, pop this onto there and then uh, put it back in. Getting a lot of fluid leaking out, so uh, the rag wasn't the best. Uh, drip uh, pan is probably better, or a little container. Okay, so that new guy is in. You want to make sure that you push it all the way down so that the circle on the line fitting is going to sit flush against the square of the breather tube. The last thing we're going to do, right there, little rubber nipple. That comes off. Let's see if we can show you that. 
uh, there we go. That's an 11 millimeter right there, and that is where you're going to do your bleeding from. We've already done a whole video on using this product, a couple back in the feed, so you can check that out. But uh, essentially, it's about a 10 minute swap, and uh, we'll go ahead and get all that uh, juice out of there when we're done, and then we'll uh, keep an eye on it.